Hey guys, what's up? So we just had an update on Advanced Server and the developers have introduced a new emblem system. I'm going to try my best to explain how it works, so please bear with me. So once you open the talent page, you will see something like this. Press a hero to see what emblems and talents they're using. You can add more heroes by pressing this icon. For example, let's customize Eudora's emblem. If you press this part of the screen, you will go to the customization page. Here you can select what emblem to use. And there are only 6 remaining and they are tank, fighter, assassin, mage, marksman, and support emblem. The old physical, magical, and jungle emblems were all removed. So each emblem will give you different stats just like before. Example, for the tank emblem, it will give HP, defense, and region. Fighter will give HP, attack, penetration, and spell vamp. So if I want Eudora to use the marksman emblem, I'll just press the emblem and then replace. Now let's move on to the talent section, which is the game changer. So just like before, there are three talent tiers. Tier 1 will give you stats just like the old one. The difference this time is you can use all the tier 1 talents regardless of what stats it gives. I can use physical defense on my tier 1 even though I'm using the marksman emblem. Or if I want hybrid region, I can easily equip it on my tier 1 slot. Now let's move on to tier 2 and here are the talents it contains. If you've noticed, they are almost the same as the old tier 3 talents with a few exceptions. And just like tier 1, you can equip whatever talent you want regardless of what emblem you're using. So for this one, I'll go for Giant Slayer where it gives 10% more damage against high HP enemies. Tier 3 is the same. I can choose any talent from the list. Let's equip Concussive Blast, which is a tank talent. So there you go. On Tier 1, I have Hybrid Region. Tier 2, it's Giant Slayer. Tier 3, it's Concussive Blast. And I'm using the Marksman Emblem. Just press back to save your talent and you're good to go. So do you understand the system now? Talents are now interchangeable regardless of what emblem you're using. And because of this, there's a ton of possible combinations you can make. There's also a bunch of new talents to choose from which I'll test on a different video. As for the leveling part, there's no information about it yet. No news if you can still use magic dust. So what can you say about the new emblem system? Do you like it? To end the video, here are all the talents on tier 2 and 3. Stay safe and thank you for watching.